Hey Clashes, a lot of you have asked me, it's where are those resources coming from? We have uh, suggestions where people have said, it's is this a cheat? Is this a... I don't know, is, is this a glitch or what were you doing? How do you have so many resources? Because if you take a look at my gold, Elixir and Dark Elixir, I have 116 million gold, I have 103 million Elixir, and I have nearly 1.7 million Dark Elixir. That's uh, quite a bit, because if you take a look at the, at the limit, we see the limit is supposed to be 20 million gold, and the same thing happening for Elixir, and the limit is 350,000 for Dark Elixir. So how is that possible? I will explain you in this video how you can get that as well, because the answer is incredibly simple. It's expensive, but it's simple. So let me introduce that and let me explain that with the magic items, because you can see I am on a lot of magic items way above, way above the limit. We can see 17, from 5 hero potions, 31 from 1 bidding, or like the, the books of bid, uh, yeah, books of bidding, 62 hero books, and so on. So how is that possible that you, uh, that I am just pretty much going over every single limit? As I said, it's no cheat, it's no glitch, it's nothing illegal. You can do that as well, even though this means it's quite expensive, because how this works is, if you're buying offers, you can go over the limit. That's already the entire trick. I will explain in a second why I am doing it. But first off, when you're buying offers, you can go over the limit of resources, of magic items, of whatever you're buying, okay? If you're buying gold, if you're buying whatever in offers, that's really important. The gold pass is no offer. If you're going into the into the shop of the, uh, of the treasury thingy, um, this is no offer. You cannot get over the limit with those things, except buying millions and millions of gems, but that's not what I mean. And the same thing obviously happening for the raid metal shop or anything. You cannot get over that limit. For example, if I want to buy now the Dark Elixir, it says storage is full. The same thing works, for example, for the weekly deals. If I want to buy uh, the Book of Heroes, it says storage is full. So really, you can only get over the top, like, over the limit um, with offers. That's really important. So those offers which are on the bottom right. And if you're buying, thinking about buying any of those offers and you want to support this project, well, if you would use credit code Itsu, it would be amazing, would be a really crazy support. Thank you so much. Or overall, if you do not want to use code Itsu, make sure that you're using any credit code out there because trust me, it's a big, big support for every credit out there. Um, which for you guys, it's really not that much of work with just putting the credit code in there quickly. But let's get back to the magic items because as I said over the the last couple of well actually over already over the last year because we have not had any hero level, any pet level, any whatever over the last year um I was collecting a lot of hero books. That was I mean no big surprise with the goal of then having as soon as the next big update would drop that I could just gem everything and by jamming, I mean using my magic items to get to the max state as quickly as possible. Before people are getting confused now, let me explain that there's two different type of clashes, okay? That's really important to understand because I see so many times people um, in the comments saying, it's if you jam everything on day one, you're going to get bored. But with that, let's introduce that there is two different categories of Clash players. The first category, and that's the majority, by far majority of Clashes out there, is that the road to being maxed out is the goal, okay? They are playing the game, even though they sometimes don't really know it, they're playing the game because they enjoy the road to max. I know a lot of people are saying, oh my god, another channel level, another thing, whatever. With that, I will never really catch up. Well, trust me, I think the majority of people who are writing that in the comments would actually quit the game if they would actually reach maxed. Because the majority of players are not in the second category, which we're going to touch now. Because in the second category, there's all of those tournament competitive players or people who like to push. Like, for example, myself. I'm right now not competing in tournaments, but I like to trophy push. And for that, having a maxed out base helps a lot. <laughs> that is no big surprise, right? So being able to be quickly maxed out, that is the goal for the second category, which is competitive tournament players and trophy pushes, for example. 
the majority of normal clashes out there are not enjoying that as much. Like if you have non, like if you're doing non-stop trophy pushing, most of the time they just don't have the the capacity, the time to actually do those pushes as well, legends, because this takes a lot of time doing eight attacks every single day, depending on how many accounts you have. But so there's those two different categories. I am the second category. I enjoy being max, so that's why I'm doing this project with those magic items. So don't be afraid of that whenever the next big update comes that I would get bored quickly. No, I'm really looking forward to the next big update. And now let's get to the point. What is this next big update? Because at this point, and I want to get this right, this is no confirmation. This is just pure speculation based on things Supercell has told us so far. And I can only repeat myself again, which means there is typically overall four updates over the year. We know most of the time when they're going to drop. April is most of the time the first update. June is most of the time the second update. As update. October is the third one. And December is then the last big update or like the last update. Sometimes bigger, sometimes not. The next thing which they told us after Town Hall 14 dropped is that the goal for them is to have a new Town Hall level every 18 months. And that would directly point towards October. So we might have the next town level, which would be Town of 15 in October. And I mean, I'm well prepared. I, I'm, I'm looking pretty good on, on magic items. I'm trying to boost my resources up as well, because that's now the, the next thing I want to talk about. Those resources. And that's to me a little of a problem, okay? I think magic items already are something incredibly good, but it's at the same time, something incredibly bad for the game. Because yes, it helps players like me to get to the max stage as quickly as possible because I'm enjoying being at that state of the game. But the majority of clashes, which we can see right now on Tunnel 14, like if you're a Tunnel 14, if you're maxed out, let me know in the comments. Do you enjoy being maxed out? Do you enjoy trophy push when you play in tournaments? I think the majority does not really do that. They want just to casually clash and have some fun in the game with upgrading stuff and planning out the upgrades and everything. But they cannot do that right now because a lot of people are maxed out at, on Town of 14 and they have nothing to do, right? So, and that's now the problem with being able to stack so many magic items. Well, magic items are a blast for everyone non-maxed. But for people who are close to being maxed, this means that your upgrades are going way too quick, which is a problem because the content which is getting pushed out from Supercell is kind of limited to some degree. So that's kind of like a, a problem over there. But let's get back to the point with the resources, because with the last update, the troop, um, yeah, the troop expenses or like the troop costs got removed. And that is the big problem, because this means at this point now, I do not have to spend gold. I do not have to spend elixir. The only thing is where I could spend it is the forge. And because I'm a big anti-mate, I'm not doing that at the moment. Okay, before, before you're flaming me in the comments, I have a lot of different accounts where I'm using the forge, okay? This is just one where I'm not because I think it's kind of funny of collecting so many gold. I want to see how far I can push this, okay? I want to see how far can I get with the resources. Um, I think it's kind of funny. So yeah, I'm only using uh, for the forge the builder base gold and builder base elixir, but otherwise I'm not spending any, any gold, any elixir. So the only thing where we can spend resources is the super troops and that this is the thing where i um, uploaded yesterday the e-dragon strategy where i'm only using the super wall breakers you could sprinkle in the sneaky goblins as well but i only want to have one super troop active because at the moment i'm always using the super potions to save my dark elixir so overall it's really hard right now to spend the resources if you want to save them which is it feels kind of strange because the resources um for the troops are gone which I think on its own is a good thing. But again, in this specific case, it feels kind of weird. There should be like maybe an extra rule in there or something that you cannot do it. I'm not really sure. Let me know if you have any ideas for that. But overall, that is pretty much the, the thing. Why I have so many resources, why I have so many magic items. You can see we have uh, quite a few um, overall collected over all of the time. And if you want to see if Tunnel 15 is going to be the next big update, if you want to see how I maxed that on day one, because I think with all of those magic items and the resources which we're collecting right now, I th it's hard to tell. I have no clue how much there's going to be, but I feel like we're on a good way on maxing out on day one. If you want to see that, make sure to follow this channel. The next thing as well why, we should, why you should follow this channel is because the challenge is uh, the Goblin Maze from Corinthian is gone really soon. And this means there is another challenge coming up. So if you want to see the easiest way on how to approach that, then you're exactly right on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next video. Until then, see ya and bye-bye.